Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today is time again for our DAX Fridays videos. And this Friday we are going to go through two functions. Function in, which I think is going to be a good thing for those that work with SQL that doesn't don't know that this function is available and the other one is contain rows. So stay tuned. So here we are in Power BI and uh, we are using for today's demo the Northwind dataset. This is a dataset that is available for free. So I actually have a video on how to get access to this data in case you don't know how. I will put it on the description box and uh, it will pop up something on the screen if you are on web. So what we are going to do today is we're going to go through two functions, the function in and the function contains row. And we're going to do it in that order too. But before explaining how in works, I am actually going to explain um, another uh, operator. We're going to do another DAX measure that does exactly the same, but in a different way. So what we have here is a list of, uh, we have uh, products, the product table here, we have a calendar here, we have categories, we have sales. So I already have a measure that calculates the total sales for these data sets. Okay. So let's put a year and the total sales in there. So that measure is actually giving us the number of sales for the three years that are available on this data set. Now, we are going to create a measure that calculates the total sales if the year is 1996 or 1997. So how to do that? Let's check that out. We go to new measure. We give it a name, 1996 or 1997 and to write that we use of course calculate we use total sales which is you know the sum of all our sales but now we have to tell power bi that we just want to know the sales if the year is 1996 or the year is 1997 so to write that we just get the um column in the so the year column on the calendar table and here we write if it is equal to 1997 or the or operator is the two brackets or I don't know how they are called like vertical lines I will call it let me know in the comment box what that's called um, and then again we want to have also if the year is 1996 okay so this is saying calculate the total sales if the year is either 1997 or 1996 otherwise ignore it so click enter and we are going to give it some proper formatting there you go and put it in there and as you can see, it's giving us 825,000 euros. If you add 208 plus 617, that's what you're going to get, 125. So what is giving us is actually what we wanted, the number of sales for the year 1996 and the year 1997. Cool. Now, is there a better way to write this formula? If you are an SQL, um, user or expert, you will actually use a function called in that is available in now in Power BI. Now I'm saying now, but it became available last year, end of last last year, I think. So you have to make sure that you have the one of the latest Power BI versions at least to be able to use in properly. So now we're going to write exactly the same thing, but with the in operator. So if we look at the documentation for the in operator, the one at least I could find, it says that it creates a logical or a condition between each row being compared in the table. 
And it says the table constructor syntax uses curly braces, so these, these ones. Okay, so make sure you use those. I mean, it's not very intuitive, but if you don't use those, it won't work. So let's go back to Power BI and test this out. Okay, so let's try to do the exact same thing with the in operator. So in this case, it will be 1996. 1997 with the in operator. Syntax, calculate, no difference there. Total sales, no difference there either. But now what you do is you tell DAX or Power BI the column that you want first. So you say the dim date year in, and now you tell Power BI which um, like values you would like to have there. What are you actually trying to compare? And you write there 1996 and then you write 1997. And then you close that one. Make sure you use these curly braces or brackets or what is it called? Uh, because otherwise it won't work. So Put in there. No surprise, it gives us the same information. So the function in is actually syntax sugar for contains row. And what that means is basically that when you are writing the in function, you are in the background writing a contains row function. So let's do a small experiment so you can see. 1997, 1996, contains row. Let's create that function. Calculate, usual, total sales, no change there. And then if we write contains row in there. Now, how is the syntax? The syntax is like this. You have to use again these um, curly braces or brackets. And now you write the values in there, 1997 and 1996. And you close those. And then here you give um, Power BI the column that you want uh, you wanted to look at and pick those values. So we close it like that and we put it in there and surprise, surprise, we get exactly the same result. So in and contains row are similar. Now imagine that they did in, or they put in the, the operator in or added the operator in for the SQL um, guys and girls. So three ways to do the exact same thing. I don't know if one or the other is faster. What I can say is that the in operator for me, it sounds more intuitive to write perhaps. So you can see here is the, with the or operator and you have to repeat the dim date year, the column all the time. Here you have the in, you get the column and then you say which values, which is easier syntax, I would say. And then you have the contain rows, which is basically the same as the in operator. So yeah, now you know three ways to do the same thing. Perfect Friday, isn't it? So this is all for today. I um, really hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you did, let me know uh, by liking it or sharing it with somebody. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. I would like to hear what you have to, to say about these um, new operators. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great, great weekend.